LSU has such an amazing ecosystem for entrepreneurship. Whether you're a student or a researcher, there's something for you on this campus. The Zip Launchpad helps students and faculty start with an early stage idea and launch a startup. They're getting real hands-on experience as well as having the opportunity to start their own business. Here at Zip Idea Lab, we help student entrepreneurs make their vision come to life. And this is the place where it all just comes together. What I've learned here in Zip Launchpad, it's completely different to what I learned in college. In college, you just learn what needs to be done, but here, you get the knowledge and you apply it and that empowers you to become what you need to become to reach that goal that you have. A great example of how the ecosystem at SDSU works to bring out the best experience for our students is with so much. Our whole mission is to reduce food waste and the way we do that is collect cooked rice, uh, juice pulp and upcycle those ingredients into cookies. It all started because I saw a flyer on, a, on my way to class every single day and it said, if you have an idea, here's an opportunity to win $5,000. It got to a point where I could not walk past it anymore without feeling guilty and at that point I went over to the Zip Launchpad and I just blurted my idea and I said, help me, I have this idea and they welcomed me with um, a warm welcome. There's so many great things about working with students at SDSU, but probably one of my favorites is when they start working on an idea and start to bring it to life and they get a little frustrated, but then they start to get help and they start to work through the challenges and the light bulb goes on. And they see how what they're learning in the classroom and what they're experiencing with their hands-on training is coming together. One of the biggest things that I took away was instead of trying to create something and sell that to people, find out what people want and create that. And that was something that we really learned from Lavin and Zip. So Much has won so many competitions. They're an amazing team great competitors. But the way that they were able to travel to those competitions and get coached was through the generosity of the Lavin Entrepreneurship Center and one of their donors. Without the funding to help them travel, they wouldn't be able to. That truly was like the seed that had let us flourish because after that we really felt, okay, we can do this. People believe in us, we're ready, like people are willing to spend money on us, invest in us to go to this and we were gifted that and that truly was an amazing opportunity that I think that we will cherish forever. Another great example of the success coming out of SDSU's entrepreneurship ecosystem is Shred Lights, headlights for skateboards. They've gone from working as undergrads, graduating, having enough revenue to support themselves and beautiful office space where they build and sell and ship all over the world their Shred Lights. The main thing that I got from the entrepreneurial ecosystem at SDSU was the entrepreneurial mindset. Because I came in there as an engineer, a mechanical engineer, and I learned a bunch of technical skills, but I really didn't know how to apply those to a business in a way that would be valuable. Being exposed again and again to other entrepreneurs, other student entrepreneurs, other mentors, that really ingrained in me the mindset that has allowed us to become like an effective startup company. The other thing that makes it really cool is when they start reaching back to the students that are one year, two years behind them and sharing their experiences and helping them overcome barriers that they've recently overcome. So now, a year after graduating, uh, I've become a mentor to a Lavin student and I think it's really cool to show him that you, know, you don't have to wait to start a business. You can start a business now and I think it's really inspiring for him to see someone his own age that you know, has a company. I don't think their idea would be what it is today if it hadn't been for all their opportunities to fail fast and then succeed within our rapid prototyping lab. And all of that was free. I never learned you know, finance or fundraising or any of that in my film classes, but I was able to go into the Zip Launchpad in Lavin Center and ask you know, all these different things that I wasn't getting in my classes. I could come you know, get 30 minutes of someone's time and learn there. And through the entrepreneurship ecosystem, at SDSU, the Zip Launchpad offers $5,000, what we call success fund, to help teams get up and running and into production. Shredlights was able to take that $5,000 and start their manufacturing. It doesn't matter what you're studying at SDSU, you have the option to experience entrepreneurship curriculum. If you're a music student, 
there's a special program in entrepreneurship just to help those music students. So the professional orientation and entrepreneurship class sets you up to work with people that are leading experts in the music industry. This music entrepreneurship program gives us the tools and skills to add to our degree, be able to build teams, be able to have the building blocks of what we need to you know, be successful in the music business as not just musicians, but as young entrepreneurs. If you're in a classroom, you're going to be sitting next to someone that's studying kinesiology, next to a college of business student, next to an engineer. And when those same students then start participating in the hands-on experiences like at the Zip Launchpad or Lavin, now you have cohorts where you have people that un really under no other circumstances would be brought together. And here they are getting hands-on experiences and bringing an idea to life and helping each other and really forming teams that represent what's going to happen in the real world. It's a diverse group of people that are going to be coming together to solve problems and that's what's happening here on our campus.